Okay, this is a uh, follow-up to the typography lesson that we've already talked about in graphic design. Um, this is going to be if you want to actually apply kind of some advanced shading in a very quick and straightforward way. Um, it works really well if you're using uh, kind of either a, a photo as your base image or if you're using like an illustration that already has shading. And we're essentially just going to steal some of the shading from it. So um, in this example, I'm going to use this one here. So this is uh, from Ella. She uh, she sent this in, said it's okay if we uh, use it as, a, as an example. She's done just a, a fantastic job on it. It's looking really, really good. And you can see there's just tons of layers in here. And you guys know from doing this project that it does it does take a while to, to do it right. So um, if I kind of unselect or hide the original layer and put in like a dark color you can see this is the result here now what Ella's done is she's kind of made all the text and then she's just gone in manually and applied different straight or flat colors so we've got the browns we've got the tans we've got the whites you know the, the kind of the pinks there etc and this is this is great you can actually tell who it is and it looks really nice but I'm going to show you an alternate way that you can do this so the first thing that you're going to do Get rid of that is you are going to take all of these uh, letters that you've done that you've kind of morphed and you're going to put them into a folder okay so what you're going to do is just drag them right onto a folder like that and we're going to call this finished text now if you have not made it um, an actual like shaded or you haven't colored it yourself already that doesn't matter this could all be white it could be black it doesn't matter at all in this case, it's already been colored, but we're gonna change all that. So I'm gonna take that finished check or that finished text and I'm gonna duplicate it. Okay, so I'm gonna right click it and choose duplicate group, or I'm gonna hit com uh, Control J, either one, and I'll just call this a copy. Now I'm gonna hide this other one. The reason I've done that is you've spent a ton of time doing this, and the next step is I'm gonna mash it all together into one layer. And once I've done that, it's really hard to go back and edit. So you never want to lose your original. So I'm just going to keep that unselected. And then in this one, I'm going to select all of the text in here. I'm going to right click it and I'm just going to merge those layers. So now I've essentially got one layer and it's got one color on it. Okay, sorry, it's got multiple colors on it, but that doesn't matter. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm just going to click on the thumbnail. And when I do that, it's going to select everything that you've done. Okay, so you're making this a selection based on all of that. Now, super easy from here. I'm going to switch layers. I'm going to go to this one. And with that actual, uh, with that selection still active from before, I'm going to just go control C and then I'll make a new layer up here maybe and I'm just going to hit control V and so what that does is it actually pastes the entire selection that I just made that has been copied from the original image now right now this looks like a normal picture but when I unselect this you can see and I'll add a little darkness in there. You can actually see that you're stealing all of that shading from the original photo and incorporating it right into your typography. So it, it's really come, it comes down to a preference. I think this looks really, really good. Um, some people might prefer the, uh, the flat version like that. It's a little more cartoony. Um, so it's up to you, but you can see that once you've done all the hard work, adding that advanced shading, it's pretty darn easy. Good luck.